Baltimore leads Hamilton 6-3 on CFL Live. 4.05 to go in the opening quarter at Iberwind tonight. Pleasant, but a little sticky here in Hamilton this evening. No, it's a great night to play. The guys stay, legs stay loose all night long. Perfect. Good to play. It's sticky up here. First and 10, Baltimore beginning at the 35. And Jimmy has moved the team well. Gets it to Pringle coming out the backside, and Mike Pringle will have a first down. Then he lost the ball, and the Tiger Cats get it back. Gary Wilkerson scooped up a bouncing ball and took it out of bounds. O'Shea was chasing the Baltimore runner, and he just lost it. Yeah, John, you're right. Nobody hit him. The ball just comes loose, and maybe it is that hot, sticky night. The old Statue of Liberty play. Mike Pringle comes around. He's got 69 Diego London out in front. Good-looking play, and then all of a sudden, Whoa. hey, there Whoa, it goes. And Gary Wilkerson, to his credit, makes the recovery. So the Ticats get a nice break here with a little over three minutes remaining in the first quarter. Mike O'Shea uh, prevents Pringle from getting it back. First turnover of the game sets Hamilton up near the 50-yard line, and John Hood gets the call. He's got about three yards. Well, make it four for Hood, averaging 4.7 on the season so far. There's Gary Wilkerson, missed uh, three games with a leg injury. That was the unfortunate yeah. incident. They don't yeah. like to talk about too much here in Hamilton, but yeah. it was an off-field injury that happened in a little scuffle in a local night spot. And he cost uh, his team three games. Second and six. Rosenbaugh back in a hurry again and fires a bullet over the middle for Lee Knight. Tracy Gravely made the stop. And that was a nice looking play for Lee Knight. Yeah, you know, you look at players around the league that I think are underrated, and one of them is number 25, Lee Knight. Here he's working on Tracy Gravely, and he just comes across, gets good inside position, and makes himself a very good target for Rosenbaugh to see. And, well, he's a guy that just game after game, he blocks well, and when he's called upon to be a receiver out of the backfield, hardly ever seen him drop a ball. 16-yard gain, Ticats inside the Baltimore 30. Titus Dixon drops another one. That's uh, another costly drop. Irvin Smith was covering on number eight, Titus Dixon. Got to start to wonder when this guy's going to squeeze one here. That was catchable, too. You know, listen, I remember as a receiver going through periods like this, and uh, the harder you try, the worse it is, and there's nothing anybody can say to you. Titus knows what the problem is. He's just trying too hard. The hands are, the fingers get so tight, you just can't squeeze the ball. It's just like having a couple of two-by-fours out there. It's tough. Second and ten, Ticats at the Baltimore 28. Kenneth Rare was the intended receiver. No penalty marker is down.